Let's go get David his hookah. <laughs> Clint paid for a product. We are here to deliver. Indeed, Zero Ball. Okay, are these guys killing people for the hookah? They are, aren't they? These guys straight up killed David for David, I'm sorry, for the hookah parts. To help him. Kill him. Weed is serious business in Haran. Clearly. Nah, you're right there, huh? Oh, 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 oh. I think he's facing this way. I think this is it. I think this is time. <laughs> okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make sure. Gonna make sure his attention is over here. Strike with I heard something. Don't let me die here. breakneck speed! Ha! <laughs> yes! Oh, good more you guys. Alright, well, that almost didn't work, but totally did. Hey, are you David? I owe you. Who are you? Crane, Spider sent me. Why? What's happened to him? He ran into Rice's people, but he'll be all right. Like, I brought the things he was collecting for you. You're a lifesaver. Thanks, Crane. This is really going to make a difference. So, tell me yeah, what this is man. all about. Yeah, oh, We're gonna put on Dark Side of the Moon you? tonight and really get into it. the source of the epidemic. Yes, the meteorite. I know where it landed. Whoa, you think meteorite. The epidemic came from space? You think that's a coincidence? You have some proof of this? I did. Rice's men just took off with my last samples. I was going to send Spider out for some more. Could you do it? Okay, hold on a second. Are we... Meteorite samples? Okay, this is, this is going in an interesting direction. Okay, uh, yeah. So, okay, so I feel ob obligated to copy and paste this info dump here. There's no weed equivalent to shisha. Shisha is the type of tobacco is traditionally smoked in hookah, made with chopped, dr ch chopped dry tobacco that is combined with molasses and flavorings, creating a wet mixture. Interesting. Okay, yeah, we have space zombies. Holy shit. Uh, definitely didn't see this coming. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, fellas, I'm in a bit of a hurry here. you doing, sir? Damn it! Ow! <laughs> yeah, suddenly everything turns into maximum overdrive. Oh, hey! There. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay. 
We're taking a hell of a beating just getting around all of a sudden. Alright, I've reached this side. I don't see anything. Alright, listen. The meteor shards react to green light. That makes them easier to spot. The Azmat guys put up some lamps in a generator. They should still be working. Uh, yeah, that generator ain't working. <laughs> yeah, maximum overdrive, eight thumb of calamity, Luigi power star level. <laughs> yeah, whoever had that on their 2023 bingo card, take a bow. I get the feeling these things are going to be invisible until we get this thing working. Can I interact with you? Ah! Excellent. Oh, of course. Fuck me. Oh, hell. Damn it. Yeah, seeing how this combat would be cool. <laughs> well, the thing is, if we get the Calamity, odds are we don't get to be the Warrior of Light. If anything, we get to be one of the NPCs that gets killed off. Or turned into void sense, or what the? Enslaved by a primal, or God only knows what. Sorry, my family needs those suppressants. Dude, I don't even know what your deal is. You just kind of showed up to this. <laughs> or turned into a monster by like a dynamis, exactly. Or just got really, really mad one day. Okay, so am I supposed to just comb this entire area looking for this? Oh god, is this another I have to wait until nightfall for this? Or am I meant to do something with the lights? Now then, uh Oh. Should probably stop pulling this trigger. Okay. <laughs> kind of just killing zombies, agency at this point. Okay, so we have a... Oh, where did you come from? Come on! Jesus Christ. Yeah, I hear you. Let's finish this. Come on. Apparently I have to fight every single one of you motherfuckers before I can get any real work done. So let's do it, come on. Yeah, look at this. Like, just trying to take one out, and suddenly two more just show up. No, three more. It's like every now and then, they just script several of these goddamn things to show up at once, completely unprompted. Shit! Okay, out of the way, Crane. Alright, fuck it. Of 
Quite possibly. Okay. Okay, look at the rock face when you turn on the, the generator and check in the water. Got it. Because, yeah, if I have to, like, fend off zombies the entire time when I'm supposed to be checking these zones... Okay, there. I see it. All right, there's one. There's another. See, now we're making progress. <laughs> Come on in, fellas. <laughs> See, occasionally what they'll do is they'll like stumble and from a hit, but they'll also they'll stumble forward and put their arms up and it like makes them weirdly hard to bring down. Okay, there's another one. Alright. Hey, there's four. Almost there. We can do this. There you go, I see ya. Thank God, alright. Okay. Again, night is falling. Hey, David, got your space rocks. All right, I've got your meteor fragments. Good. I'll load the shards into the accelerator chamber, and we'll be ready to take the fight to the reptilians. Whoa, what? wait, whoa. Who, who are we taking the fight to? Okay, technically. The okay, I just noticed the, Orion, the alien patch on his arm. Reptilians is a recognized euphemism. Even if it's a bit uh, redneck. Uh -huh. And these gadoids did did what now? <laughs> Please. They came to Earth eons ago and formed the Order of the Illuminati. Now they want to dominate us and spread around the entire fourth level. They have been turning people into slaves. But now you're going to stop them because you have this. I do? Remember, it's not going to cut through a fast variable gamma shield, but short of that, it should deatomize anything out there. Right. Got it. Anything else? Uh huh. I'd estimate you can count on 500 charges before you need to replace the meteor shards. So go get them, soldier. Send them to hell. Envoyez les à l'enfer. Oh, busted hey, out the French all of a sudden. Thanks a lot. Anti gadoid gun. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, what even is this? Hold on. Hold on. Okay, firepower zero, accuracy zero, rate of fire six. <laughs> what the shit? Did he just give me a toy gun or something? Oh, look at this fucking thing. Yeah, it's like... Okay, it's a C-clamp, and it's an... Like, a, a can of air, and a speaker on it. So it's just, yeah, it it does no damage. It just makes a noise. <laughs> oh, oh. These are special people in Haran. They truly are. Yeah, it's like some janky like Fallout 4 gun, like the kind of thing you. Custom build that would. Oh, what the hell? 
Okay, uh, we can deal, but I need to keep my head down. I hope you understand. Alright. Uh, let's see. Well. Feel free to browse. I'm stocked up on the good stuff. Oh. Oh, I smell an opportunity here. I'm just going to let them deal with it. Yes, yes. Uh, right, agility. There he is. Uh, okay. Well, I was hoping to have the zombies just rip them apart, but apparently they're not going to cooperate tonight. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't know what the hell happened there. Daisy. <laughs> Gentlemen, how's it going? All right. Hey, Spike, here you go, buddy. Onward to adventure. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, those guys are... Yeah, they're gonna turn into virals. Oh! Yeah, no, we ain't having that. Does it? It's all good. Nice, quiet, stealthy landing. Michael, my dude. What's this I hear about some plan of yours to start some fires? <laughs> ah! Going into a zone here. Alright. When the sewers, it's night. How bad could things possibly be? Hey, how's it? Oh boy, okay. You see, I was expecting... I was expecting... Super zombies, so when they didn't light up with skeletons, I thought, Oh, hey, friendlies! Uh, nope, they're just regular zombies. I'm going to try something here. Yeah, 
Interesting. See, my thing is, I usually have my, my thumb over the space bar, so I'm ready to dash at a moment's notice. But you saw Alt there is a grapple maneuver, and that can, like, redirect the charging zombie. And that can be good, because sometimes your weapon isn't really good for knockback or keeping an enemy from grabbing a piece of you. So they do have some, like, fun little evasive maneuvers if you really get into it. You just kind of have to adjust based on whether you're trying to avoid it or use an enemy's momentum against them. Alright, looks like we need to go back into the water. Like, I could see them taking this and making a really fun, like, fist fighting game. Like, something like Chronicles of Riddick, where you're controlling from first person, but, like, string different combos together and such, and using the momentum of your enemies as a factor in which, which attacks and counterattacks you have. It would I don't think it would be as... I don't think it would work with the style of combat that this game is working on, which is all about handling a crowd, but I could see a modified version of this doing person-to-person fist-fighting in a really interesting way. Okay, also, that is not a good sign. That almost certainly means we've got human trouble down here. And that can only mean one thing. Alright. Well, not yet. Use Rice's gun for a little while. Okay, this is less than ideal. Let's see if we can get past. Get out of this little kill zone area. You can say, um, cold is slice. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright. Odds on this guy, Michael, being alive are dwindling, let's say. But, objective is objective. No, not this again. Oh shit. Uh, oh boy. We got malaria again. Alright. We are... turning or something, but don't let that get in the way of stealing duct tape. <laughs> I thought you were a biter. Well, Maybe you know, sneak up on a give it a like minute. That. Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. Uh, sit tight. I'm just gonna. Okay, can I open that? No. Okay, there is lootable stuff in here. Good. I didn't mean to scare you, Michael. Okay, ooh, okay. Troy said you on your way. God, I'm glad she didn't see me jump like that. She'd never take me seriously. 
Got a little crush, huh? How could I not? Have you met her? That's why I volunteered for this. Wait, so you're risking your life with a horde of flesh-eating zombies to impress a girl? You know what? Mate, That's relatable. Before the outbreak, the most impressive thing I'd ever done was win a spelling bee, okay? Troy would have never even looked at me, so I'll take my opportunities where I can. All right, fair enough. Tell me what needs to happen here. Uh, well, okay, um, I tried to finish the job, but I couldn't get past the ninth floor. All right, leave it to me. What needs to happen is, you take these explosives, turn on the gas ovens, and plant charges in a few specific apartments. Oh, well, that'll make a pattern, huh? One nobody outside Haran could mistake as random. If they can explain this shit away, we are all gonna be really fucking impressed. Yeah, the media would never lie the about something. on the tenth floor. <laughs> all right. Anyway, let's get planting. Oh, shit. Yeah, of course there'd be enemies in here. Why wouldn't there be? Uh, weirdest thing I've ever done to impress a girl. Uh, that's a problem. I'm unfortunately a very dull individual when you get right down to it. Uh... Hmm. I've almost certainly bullshitted about something. I'm just trying to remember what. It has unfortunately been a while. <laughs> Streaming. Well, eh, you know. Actually, I suppose, uh, picking up German in high school. Because originally, yeah, a girl I kind of had a crush on was also taking German. Unfortunately, she wound up moving away next in I mean it was this uh, sophomore year she wound up moving away in the uh, junior year so that didn't quite go as planned but what can you do <laughs> I can neither confirm or deny any of those things branch ivory what the oh boy damn it Something must have blocked this shaft. Oh, hell. Oh, oh shit. shit. Hey. Damn it. What's wrong? Okay, game, don't rob, okay? don't rob me of my stamina meter. Yeah, 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 for now. I gotta do some climbing here. That's unfair. Oh, God, I, I do have to climb with no stamina meter. I mean, it hasn't really been a factor, but still. Okay, uh... Alright, okay, we're covering. But yeah, it would have to be... Yeah, trying to, and trying to learn German because of a girl I liked. That turned, in, that turned out to be a moot point anyway. Oh well. Still remember some German, so it wasn't a total loss. In fact, one fun little thing I like is actually in the movie One Two Three, which is this uh, comedy movie set in, like the uh, 1960s Berlin with uh, James Cagney in it, and it, it's kind of playing on the whole like cold, the the whole Cold War, uh, U.S. versus Russia stuff in the wake of in the wake of World War Two, but in the vein of a. Uh, Coca-Cola executive who's just trying to make a make a uh, just trying to make a deal, and it actually has like unsubtitled German, and there are some sequences where I try to pick up on what the guys are actually saying, and I can still kind of keep up with it. I mean, you know, I've seen it so many times that you start to memorize them and you, you figure out what's going on based on the context. But yeah, every now and then a little bit of it comes back to me. Yeah, yeah, we will not be doing webcam streaming, sorry. 
Maybe a V2 avatar at some point, Michael, but that's it. I'm on the 10th floor. Great. Look for apartments 105, I've had problems with stalkers in the past. I don't need to encourage them. Honestly, yeah, that was something I that was something I remember distinctly from going to Japan, and that I was overwhelmed when I got off the plane. And after a few days, I was still struggling, but I started to pick things up, like subway train announcements and things that were uh, things that were posted in stores and uh, tourism centers and such. Like obviously, they had English translations as well. But eventually, you start to learn from context, and you break down the component parts until you actually figure out what the individual words are and what the, fra the entire phrases are. So yeah, it, if you're going, if you're thinking of going to a foreign country, obviously, it would be impractical to learn a language with any degree of fluency unless you're really, really studying. But at the same time. With a little bit of effort, you can learn some basic tourism survival, and if you trust yourself enough to pay attention, and you know, really pay attention to what's being said and when, and try to pick things up from context, you'd be some. I saw that! You appeared out of nowhere! You spawned in, I saw that. Hey, I see it! Go away, boomer! <laughs> you know, I did not see one of those. I was... I've heard so much about them, but I did not see one in my time there. Probably didn't go to the right part of Akihabara. I don't know. The hotel did have a beer vending machine, however. That was way more interesting. got a tall boy right out of there. It was great. Yeah, that arrow went all the way through. Like, look at that. You can see the arrowhead sticking out of the back of his skull. That's horrific. God damn. Seriously. Alright, we'll wait for you to stop doing jitter stuff. Alright. Uh, anything worth looting in here? Snacks, why not? Yeah, seriously, this whole place is like a hardware store. Oh, v Roy had an update? I did play around with that a little bit. I found the hair to be almost prohibitively difficult. I assume, you know, with practice it would be a little more manageable. But that was definitely the limiting factor for me. I'll probably just commission... If I do a VTuber avatar, I'll probably just commission someone. Fuck it, throw money at the problem. Why not? I mean, you know... A reasonable amount of money, let's say. Actually, hold on a second. Why am I messing around with these? I've got these! <laughs> oh, yeah! Keep spawning! I've got a lot! <laughs> Oh! 
I'm a blast from the past. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't do that with them right in front of you, Crane. Okay, now you can pretty much put pre-made pieces together, no more drawing hair yourself. Oh, okay, that changes things. Hair was fine before the update. The bigger thing is they added a huge library of outfit parts. Yeah, that was the other thing. I was always having trouble getting different outfits together. So, yeah, if they've got, like, a library of things you can pick from and, you know, start to assemble. <laughs> I almost did that, Branch. I almost did that. But I'm a little too competent tonight. I'm in control. I'm in charge. I got this shit. Yeah, going for a pre-made outfit. Yeah, shirt's a shirt. Uh, let's see. I'll take that as a yes. Can you still do it? Uh, sorry, I got a little sidetracked there. Yeah, I'd have to refamiliarize myself with the uh, VWord Studio. But yeah, if they've got a, if they had a big update and it's basically uh, out of beta, then yeah, that actually sounds kind of interesting. I think the guy said it has to go in the kitchen. Yes, here we go. Okay, I'm done with the first apartment. Good work. Get to the next one. On it. Oh, 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 how can we not do this? <laughs> Pardon me, folks. Don't want to put any pressure on you. But you're on TV. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, hey! Damn it! Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, didn't I blow all you up? What the hell? God damn. Okay, coming to realize that these grenade arrows are effective at scattering the enemy, but not necessarily killing zombies. Okay, out of thin air, probably. Propane tank didn't go boom. What? All right, hold on a second. We're going to have to investigate this. Son of a bitch, there it is. Grenade arrows, how did you miss this? Ay, ay, ay. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, shit. All right. I get some string. Yeah, seriously. Like all, all right. of a sudden, second apartment's done. Weirdly realistic yeah, shit propane tank. Next you need Oh shit. What's wrong? Michael. I've got some company here. I'll get back you bastards. Michael, get out of there. Get to safety. No, I can hold him off. You've got to finish the job. I'm not going anywhere until this is done. Okay. All right. 134 and 137. Oh, man. 
There's gotta be an elevator we can take. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Jesus! Not this time, bitches. Boomer, more like two sooner. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> We're setting bombs and setting, setting, gonna set up fires in a way that, in a pattern that zombies can't, so know that we're here. The message send nudes. I mean, you know, that would definitely not be mistaken for anything on accident. Okay. I know with some interest this looks basically like the... Uh, the tower for Brecken's people. Just an unfinished version. Okay, uh, we gotta go up still. Oh, I see. <laughs> Ran right by ya. Oh, God damn it. It's another one of them kids. Oh, nice of them to put the stove in here for me. Yeah, no. Not gonna bother with that. Okay, yep, we got the kid that's gonna be right in our way. Eee! Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you see what I mean? This guy's putting his arm up, and that lets him just power right through me. And take like four or five hits without breaking stride. They don't all do that. But it's one of the ways that the horde can kind of like push you back. Oh god, here we go. Is that a child crying? Oh come on, Crane, you already saw this. You know what these friggin' things are. What is this? Oh, Jesus! Okay, this got real in a hurry. God damn. Okay, where are my bomb arrows? Oh. Jesus. Okay. We're gonna make a stand here. Oh! <laughs> it finally happened. Oh, god damn it. It finally happened. Oh. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> it was almost working, too. Wait, no, no.
Jesus. Okay. Gonna have to stand out there. Ye Numbers. Just a bit, Mirage. Okay, are we done? Are we fucking done here? Okay, all done. Alright, fine. Listen, hey, are oh, you sneaky fucker? Jesus Christ! Michael? Yeah, I know that feel, buddy. I don't make it. You have to grab it. Get off me! Grab the detonator! Get the hell out of here and blow this place! Michael, get the fuck out of there and head back to Troy right now. Just leave the detonator. Michael! Michael! Shit. God damn it. Alright. Yep, sometimes you just get a doom stack, lay down the explosives, and repeat until the problem you're having a problem with goes away. Yeah, nope. Michael's gotta get out of there. Can't impress the ladies if you're dead. I mean, you know, sometimes a thing you do while dying can be impressive, but, you know. That is not often, that is not the case in a way that will, that is not something you will be able to appreciate. Okay, how do I get down? Uh. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I get it, I get it. We stopped at the fifth floor because there was a thing out of the door and... Oh, okay. Shit. Lordy, lordy, this is getting complicated. Yeah, no, we're out of here. We outie, bitch. Oh, I see that. Okay, I hope you're all right, Michael. Got it. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. We are so not doing that. Damn it. Detonator now. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, I think we know exactly what this is all about. Oh no. Hey, there we go. Ooh. Okay, that was satisfying. Oh, is that like a frowny face? Great, we see it. Great job. Thanks. I hope it's enough. You had any contact with Jade? Yeah, it is a frowny face. Check it out. Great. 
Jade, J is that you? Crane, I heard what you did. I see what you did. Okay, so, do you believe me now that I'm on your side? Whoa! Sons of bitches! Okay! Fuck, Crane. If you're really on our side, you've got to contact the GRE. They must stop the Ministry from bombing the city. I know, but I lost my one and only way to reach him. Guys, listen. Savvy's figured out a way to break through the jamming. He just needs your help to do it. Okay, Jade, you heard that? We have to meet. Yeah. All right. Meet me in that red building on Emerald Canal. We'll go from there. And Crane, be careful. The infected here are even more ferocious than the ones in the slums. Yeah, pick it up on that. All right. Well, that was a fucking adventure. I'm gonna make my way to the university safe zone, and then we'll call it. All right. So now they are actively suppressing the fact that, like, they're not just controlling the news; they're actually silencing any message we try to send out of the city. So, that's a problem. Yeah, they bombed it to cover up the message. Crafty of them. Evil, but crafty. But we'll call it there. Got a lot done tonight. Again, ran a bit longer than, than intended, but... See, look at this. We're only at 61% story, because you got to wonder how much could there possibly be, because we're just trying to stave off a bombing at this point, and they keep making it seem like this thing is like within 24 hours or whatever. But obviously we have time to screw around, so there's some wiggle room there. But, ah, uh, well, we'll get to that next week. But yeah, no stream tomorrow night, more Dying Light next week. Thanks everyone for tuning in, have a good night, and see you next time.